Hi there, welcome back to Rick's Recipes. Uh, here is where I kind of test things out, uh, maybe come up with some recipes, come up with some ideas for food. And generally the emphasis is on everything being very healthy. And as I'm following a Weight Watchers uh, plan at the moment, it's very low in Weight Watchers points. Now, uh, my problem for, well, forever, I think, has been that I really like rice. I like, you know, basmati rice, Thai rice. I like sushi. I just love rice. Uh, noodles, uh, not so much. Um, pasta, yeah, I like pasta, but I can live without pasta almost. Um, but rice is something I struggle with. So a few weeks ago, I was looking for somewhere to park in the middle of Exeter and I just decided to park in the Waitrose car park. And I thought while I was there, I'll go and have a look uh, to see what... Uh, Everybody else buys from the supermarket, unlike myself, who uh, lives in Lidl and Morrison's. So uh, I came across these things, bare naked noodles. Uh, I didn't see the bare naked rice, I must admit. I must have a look for that, but I think it's probably going to be the same. So bare, bare naked noodles appeal to me um, because if you scan the barcode with the Weight Watcher app, uh, half a packet comes out as one point. Now... If that was rice, it would be something like, you know, anywhere between five and ten points. So for that reason, I thought I'd better try them out and let you know what I think. Now, I think I did actually pay that kind of price, like pound sixty-eight in Waitrose, which is bloody expensive, actually, because you only get like two portions out of that. And the portions are tiny. So you're talking about a quid a portion, you know. Um, Tesco seemed to have them for two quid. So that is a quid a portion, isn't it? Anyway, so that's my first thing I don't like. Um, they're made out of this stuff called konjac. Now, I think this is classed as a vegetable uh, and it grows in Asia. And I know this has become quite popular in the US where, where it's known as uh, shirataki. And that's because there are a lot of people who like the low-carb diets, the keto diets, all that kind of thing. Now, what you'll find out later on when I, when I test these things is they have got quite a mm, quite an unpleasant smell, to be honest. It smells fishy, right? And uh, so look here, it says vegan seafood alternative konjac corn powder has a noticeably fishy smell and is used as an ingredient in vegan alternative seafood products. It can be incorporated into plant-based versions of seafood. For Chinese cooking, thin strands of konjac gel can be used as a substitute for shark fins when preparing a plant-based version of shark fin soup. Okay, so yeah, some people use it. <laughs> Yeah, and I believe this particular brand, this Bare Naked Noodles, it was one of the uh, Dragon's Den type sort of, uh, oh yeah, there you go, as seen on Dragon's Den. Uh, it's one of those kind of things. So um, I don't know how they did on that. I, I, I never watched it. But yeah, let's give it a go and see what I think. I'm not too excited though. Okay, not really a recipe today. I'm just going to sort of do a review of these Bare Naked Noodles. They're, um, they're konjac noodles. Uh, these things are, seem to be quite trendy at the moment because they're very low in carbohydrate, so they're they're big with people with the keto diets and all that kind of thing. Uh, but obviously, uh, me following a Weight Watcher plan, I'm interested in these because not so much noodles, but like not so much pasta either, but kind of rice. I, re I really like rice, and rice, you know, the kind of portion I like of basmati rice, for example, comes out as 10 points on the Weight Watcher plan, which is about half what you, what you eat in a day almost so it's uh it's not good you know and i'm always looking for alternatives really so half a packet of this apparently is one point with weight watchers so um that's what we're going to do now cooking directions it just says open corner of packet drain water throw in a frying pan and cook for three minutes add your chosen sauce or vegetables and meat enjoy okay well what i'm going to use is i've got some uh got some chili that i kind of uh made a few weeks ago and it's been in the freezer that's defrosted now um, I like batch cooking so that's what I tend to do so I'll probably be using that with the, that so I have the dilemma here of like it's only me going to eat it so uh, I'm not going to eat the whole packet so I need to drain half the packet so it's never quite that easy to know how to do that is it so I think what I'll do is probably start by maybe getting my scales okay so the scales are on zero there so if I open this it's not opening quite 
quite as nicely as I thought it would. Okay. So I suppose really what I want to do is to... Oh, I see. It's a packet inside a packet. Oh. Interesting. So why do they do that? That's just... That's a waste of plastic, isn't it? That's rubbish. Okay, well it doesn't look like there's much water in there. Let's see how much that weighs. Okay, so that weighs 395 grams. Yeah, and in fact here it says that the net weight is 250 grams, gross weight 380. So I suppose if I if I kind of cut this open, so that and that's weird. Why do they have a sort of tear off thing there on this outside packet, and then this one here doesn't have such a thing, you know? Um, now there is an issue with konjac because if I smell this, <laughs> it smells um, not very nice. To be honest, it smells a bit like um, a bit like a bit of smelly seaside. Um, anyway, let's put what I think is about half in there. It's going to be just under two hundred grams, isn't it? Come out. So it's probably something like that. Okay. Doesn't leak very much, to be honest. But in any case, what I'm going to do is put those back in here and try and remember to keep them that way up in the fridge. Anyway, let's drain off the water. <laughs> and you see, my problem here is like that's quite expensive for like what is a little pile of noodles. Right, now it did say put them in a frying pan. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put it in my little saucepan. Now I believe what happens with these things is when you when you cook them up a little bit the smell goes. But it's not a pleasant smell and I don't think I'll be buying them ever again. I think even before I start my preference is going to be to probably use like courgette, you know, spiralised courgette or something more vegetable like rather than sort of something weird that comes in a plastic packet. I'm I'm not impressed so far, but yeah. I think these are just for weirdos. Anyway, so that pan's warming up now. Now just while that's doing that, I will say that I've uh, I've got some of this stuff as well. This is called Better Than Pasta Spaghetti. Pasta shaped from organic konjac flour and organic oat something. Nine calories per hundred gram serving. Um, now this was sold by the shop over the road, I'll show you. That's the shop over the road, that's uh, the Sylvania Community Stores. Wonderful place by the way. I don't know if you can see that sign but it says that I'm uh, I'm DJing next Sunday there. I'm going to play my old records. Anyway, because my daughter works at the shop there, or did work at the shop there, they tend to give her old stuff they can't sell, so I've actually got four packets of this, so I'll be testing this one as well. But I think it's just going to be the same. I'm going to taste a bit, I suspect it's just going to taste nothing. Well, the good news is, it doesn't taste fishy. Uh, the bad news is, it doesn't taste of anything. <laughs> so, I don't know what to say really. Look, I'm going to stick some of my chilli in there with it. I actually sold it, I'm going to have it all. And this is just my attempt at uh, trying to not eat rice. That's going to look okay, isn't it? I mean, I know what it's going to taste like. It's just going to taste like my chilli. Anyway, so I'm just going to warm that up, eat that, and I'll probably tell you what it tasted like. But I think I can tell you now it's just going to taste of nothing. And I'll be thinking, what was the point? I just added like nearly an extra pound's worth of value to what was otherwise my very cheap meal. Okay. So, not impressed really. If they were cheaper, maybe I'd consider that as an alternative to use all the time. Well, here it is finished. I suppose the benefit is that I can't really tell these are not normal noodles. So that's good. That said, they don't taste of anything. But the problem is they're quite expensive. I think what I'll do in the future, I'll, I'll show you some uh, alternatives using vegetables that have been spiralised. Now, I know my favourite is spiralised sweet potato. Um, the only thing about that, that isn't zero points anymore. But you can get away with by not using very much. So I think that's what I'll do in the next video. 
So there you go, that's my review of Bare Naked Noodles. Not really impressed, to be honest. They taste of nothing, they're expensive, and I think there's better alternatives like just using spiralised vegetables, which I'd prefer to eat anyway. And uh, generally I like food that hasn't been messed around with. Uh, I also really hate the packaging. I hate the idea there's two packets, and it's got that kind of rip-open thing for the outer one, but not for the inner one. So you're going to have to find a pair of scissors or a knife or something to open the thing anyway so just make the whole thing one layer of plastic or something or maybe find some other sort of more ecological way of packaging it but yeah too expensive too tasteless not really into it but as i say i've got those other ones to test out as well which i will do in the future uh it probably is worth mentioning these are vegan because i know some pasta has like egg in it so that might appeal to vegans but generally not impressed I will continue looking for alternatives to rice. Okay, if you want to join me in my quest looking for low-carb, low-point foods, then please make sure you're subscribed and put the notifications on all, and then you'll be notified of every time I upload a new a new video. So uh, thanks for that. Uh, do leave a nice comment. If you've got any questions, just ask me in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you've got any ideas about videos you'd like me to make, just uh, just let me know as well and I'll I'll do that. I am here for you to do this to benefit us all, including me, because I want to learn about stuff. And I've found the best way I learn about stuff is by telling other people about it. So that's why I'm doing it. And just before I go, I'd like to say a massive love and respect to the Weight Watchers Tuesday Toby Carvery crew in Exeter, Devon, and my awesome coach, Kathy Jones. Rick out. <laughs>